Go ahead, okay. Amy. All right. Well, welcome everybody to our next Zoom with Beth Minardi. And today's topic is transitioning your clients into the fall and how we address that situation. Thanks, Annie. And thank you, Kaylin. I'm delighted to be here. And you know, it, it's a funny thing that happens this time of year. Uh, I think most of the kids this week or last week are back in school. Uh, moms get to finally look in the mirror. Busy business women back from trips look. Now here's the situation. Some people look at their color that's faded, their hair that's grown, maybe a little more of their natural wave, whatever. And they kind of like it. Now we have to remember that. There are others who you look at and you say, oh my goodness, the hair's beat, it's dehydrated, her roots grew out, the gray is showing. Uh, she, now, maybe she likes that gray showing or maybe her ends are all faded. The way we don't want to insult them, we want to guide them and we want them to, uh, you know, first sit down, of course, make them super comfortable, ask them if they something to drink. And I always sit at their sight level. I sit in a chair next to them. I do not stand up next. I face them. I do not look in the mirror. And I use a brush and I gently brush through the hair. So I say, it's so good to see you. Summer's over. Let's take a look and say, well, I see what I'm looking at. And I know you can see what you're looking at. Tell me how you feel about your hair. Now, the wrong thing to do is go, oh, my God, you grew out. We need to do No, 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 no. How do you feel about it? Maybe they like those dark roots. Maybe they like that faded. Hi, Joseph Renown, I love you. Maybe they <laughs> like that faded hair length. Maybe they like that it's deeper at the root with some gray or they don't mind the gray. Or maybe you're looking at highly dehydrated hair and there's a way to help them. So I always say, tell them, like, let them talk. And while they're talking, I have to say the words to you, shut up. Let them talk. And while they're talking, continue brushing, continue looking at their scalp. Then you can take a look and smile at them through the mirror and say, so tell me what you're thinking. What's going on? They might say, and you can say at that point, you know, for summer, you've done pretty well. I think you're a little dehydrated these last two ends or whatever. You might want to say to them, I think your hair's really been through a lot this summer. You might say, what do you think about the way it is now? What do you think about these deeper roots? And let them explain because they're going to help you decide what they want to hear. Maybe they like that their blonde hair has gotten, gotten rooty and that maybe they'd like just a root smudge and then maybe a little face frame with some highs and lows through the hair. Maybe they'd like for you to um, maybe just lighten the root and low light the rest of the hair. Uh, maybe they'd like a custom Lola conditioner to take home because we have so much to offer. We really do. And with our new hydrating uh, mask, hydrating boost mask and our deep, deep hydrating, uh, high, deep conditioning masks by uh, Rain Dance, there's a lot going on. I like to handle blondes in a new way than I did maybe 15 years ago, Annie. And that is, might, I might choose, you know, instead of smudging the root, I might choose to use uh, Beauty Fusion as a Demi Plus. And I might choose to just smudge that root and cover and blend a lot away, cover that gray at the root. And while I do that, zigzag and angle some new highlights around the face and through the crown and they love it and i also uh i i take out the nape of the hair and i paint some um of our i smudge some low lights through that nape um and they seem to like it because all of a sudden it's cool you know if you look at recent movies and television there's nothing wrong with a deeper root as long as it's not a, a solid deeper root. Mm -hmm. And as long as it's not a black deeper root, as long as there are some new highlights at the widow's peak 
around the park and down to the corner. Remember, the corner of this eye and the brow up this up to here, and you can see me, this needs to be lifted. This needs even what I don't call them baby lights. I hate that term. Little angel lights through this area. I did it to myself yesterday. Maybe you can see tomorrow. I'll show you a bigger picture. But just do some little angel lights on the hairline and let that root come in deeper. Unless she's the type who every brown hair is the enemy. And then you've got to address the regrowth, either with a high lift blonde formula or then a bleach and tone. And when you bleach and tone, you might tone a quarter of a, of a level or a half of a level deeper than usual and let the highlights bounce the dimension through that hair. And that's just blondes. Brunettes have other problems. Most brunettes who grow out during the summer will say their hair is brassy. Mm -hmm. Now, I have, you might have a, this is, I wrote this the other day and I know Annie read it on my Facebook group for hair colorists, which is free, which is um, my group called Conversations with Top Color Professionals by Beth Minardi. Now, it's free and people said, well, what am I gonna do with these brunettes? If you have five minutes, you only, woman comes in, brunette, does not have a color appointment, does not have a, she has brown hair, it's brassy and she's in for a cut and a blow dry. Number one, take her to the sink. Number two, shampoo her with our good society blue shampoo for blondes or brunettes. Rinse the hair. Step two, take our Lola blueberry conditioner, which is a light blue silver base, which is wonderful. So you've shampooed her with the blue shampoo. You're conditioning her, leave it in three to five minutes, the blueberry Lola. So it's our good society blue shampoo, softly drabbing. It's our Lola conditioner, fabulous conditioning and drabbing. Leave it in three to five minutes, rinse her, take her for the haircut. When you're doing the hair, say, hey, you know, I use that Lola conditioner on her. It's, you can take it home if you want. Her hair will not be darker. The, the brassy will be gone. And you've just made a tremendous friend. So that's two products. Good Society Blue Shampoo, right at the sink. The Lola, which is fabulous, comes in packets, which Annie can get you. It comes in a back bar and a retail size. And I'll tell you the prices. I have always loved several amazing competitor products that are color conditioners. One of which is Lola Fabuloso, which is terrific. It's from Italy. And the tube is $32 to the salon. Oh, Now, a lot of people, it's a wonderful product, but what are you going to sell it for? $50, $60? She's not going to take it. Our Lola is competitively priced and she, you can give her because she was in, here's a packet of the blueberry, little gift. She'll come in and want it again, but you can also sell it. And back bar price, I think is $8 for the bottle. And you leave it in for five minutes. For any brunette or blonde, it is the ultimate killer of orange. Okay? Redheads, same thing. Redheads are either gonna, they're usually gonna fade a hideous, yellow orange and we have um a, if you really need help lola comes in caramel or camel caramel i'm sorry and it also comes in uh the coral which is going to put take away just that bright yellow again it's a five minute treatment they are spectacular they're really wonderful and You've upped your game because that haircut's going to look better. The shine's going to be beautiful and it's a good retail. Now there are more things to do. I always recommend low lighting. Uh, in her hair's red, her brunette hair's faded. Low light her with the Demi Plus deep brown low light. She's a redhead. She's faded and yucky yellow. Low light her with a Beauty Fusion Demi plus low light formula. So you can create, uh, there's over Annie's right shoulder, yours left, there's a beautiful picture of a redhead behind her. If she came in and said my hair was too faded, I would low light her with a 634 in um, 
in uh, Beauty Fusion with a with now nah, I just probably a little lighter with six thirty four and maybe an ounce and a half of six thirty four and a half of five four four in uh, in Beauty Fusion as a demi plus and she'd still have this gorgeous red hair but the deep strands in there are going to take her back to a never fade appearance so sometimes doing a little today with your other service. And you say, you know what? Next month, I want to see you for your brunette retouch and we're going to glaze you. Or next month, I want to see you for that blonde. We're going to address the root if you if you want and highlight you. You're just getting them in the chair for a very low price or quick treatment, a possible retail. We need to make them fall in love with you to get ready for the holidays. Right now, back from summer, they've spent a lot of money. They need to look great. They need the condition back. The color is faded. Give them a very small service, unless they book for a color service. But I don't like it when somebody books for a, a blowout or for a haircut, and there's no mention made of the color until next month. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> we need to get them involved in color and know that you're addressing color, even at a mono, really small price, because you're going to make a lot of money as the fall moves on. That's what I think. I agree. Great. If Anybody any else? If you have questions, you can put it in the chat and we'll ask Beth all your questions. We haven't had anybody do it yet. Okay, but I'm glad people are listening. Here's, here's what we don't pay attention to enough. And I'm working with a new brand and what I see is the following. In my humble opinion, we have moved far past only salons. You know, years ago, salons would have permanent dye. They would have bleach. They would have something called semi-permanent color. And that was about it in color. When we move on and we now have the ability to use permanent color, and we can also use liquid acidic demi-permanent color, which rem remember, only deposits, no lift. We can also have demi plus, which is a little more alkaline, which covers gray when no lift is, is present or desired. So just think we can refresh hair, not with uh, bringing, bringing a permanent dye formula with reduced volume developer through the ends is not the best, most modern way to stop fading and to replenish hair color. Most of you guys who've been using Shades EQ or Deep Shine or a Paul Mitchell or another brand know that's that's not true. So with our Artego Beauty Fusion, we are able to mix that color with five volume Oxy Milk Developer. And while you're doing the roots, you're refreshing those ends without breaking the hair with alkalinity. Alkalinity invades the hair. We need it to lighten hair. We need it to cover gray. We do not need it when we're refreshing faded ends. We're breaking down the hair more. So we have an acidic, we didn't have this 30 years ago. We do now. In addition to that, we have color conditioners. Now, people might say, well, it washes that after a few shampoos. It does on hair that's never been made porous. When you take our liquid demi beauty fusion, or when you take our Lola color conditioners and apply them to porous hair, I want you to mm -hmm. think it's just like the people who said, what do I do? My kid in punk rock bleached his hair and put Kool-Aid in his hair, mm. I can't get it out. <laughs> when hair is porous, Lola ain't coming out in two shampoos. You can take, if the hair is beat to hell and back, and you're doing a, a retouch, take three foils on, take the Lola conditioner, wrap three foils on each side of the head, three foils in the back, and let her sit there for 45 minutes while her retouch is on. Okay, it took you, it took you what, two minutes? 
Now, take her to the sink, shampoo her, I hope with Rain Dance Hydra shampoo or with the ASO shampoo. And then take that same Lola conditioner that you used as a low light, apply it all over, mush it through with your hands, leave it for 90 seconds, rinse her whole head. She's gonna see an amazing result. And those low lights you place with the Lola are gonna last six, seven, eight shampoos. How about that? Why? Because the hair is porous. And this is one of the things we're going to show at my next class in Annapolis, Maryland, um, which is going to be at the end of September. And it amazes me that we're going to be spending a whole day there with Annie and with Janet and with uh, some of my dear friends and lunches included, diplomas. But you're going to get to see I can take conditioner and I can put low lights in the hair. Absolutely. There was a brand, there is a brand that's very expensive called Overtone. And they were smart. They did not go to the the, the uh, salon market. They went straight to the consumer. Hmm. And it is a heavy color conditioner. No heavier than Lola. But it's in a big jar. It's marketed differently. And here we have our Lola, which is... A, what is it for back bar says, Annie, I think it's $8 for a back bar size. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Yeah. And the, so this is something you can use as a tool. And it's also something you can retail to the client. And I tell my clients to use it every third or fourth shampoo. And here's what you can say. We are the home of never fade conditioner. Because if, if somebody does this every third or fourth shampoo, I can't stop the gray from coming in. I can't stop the dark roots from coming in, but I can stop the fade. And the fade comes from the porous hair giving up color so readily. Absolutely. And I think the next thing to talk about with these wonderful people when they come in is, you know, as you're doing their hair and they're telling you about the summer, and their kids and their husbands and their life and their business. So, okay, now as you know what, if you'd like to see me between Halloween and Christmas, please schedule now if you want the appointment because we get very busy. And if you call me on Wednesday and want to see me Friday, the day before Christmas, I'll probably <laughs> be booked, right? And then they yell and say, but I'm a good client. Well, all right. So now we plant seeds. Okay, what are we going to do to help you now with your hair? And what do you think you want to look like during the holidays? Do you think you want to spice it up? Do you think you want to be lighter around the face? Do you think you want to not make a major change, but make a, a bit of a splash? We need to let them say, listen, the next time you come in, we're going to be talking about what we're going to do for that Thanksgiving uh, thing or that, that New Year's Eve party because let's think about it now so that we're ready to go when the holidays arrive. I have so many customers who say, Beth, that you know, when they place their orders, you know, it's the same color over and over and over and over again. Why are they just so afraid to do that tweaking? you know, to, to spice up their clients. I think the fear is that we have allowed the appointment book to become our boss. Okay. And I spoke to this with Lulu and Sue today on this uh, wonderful podcast I did today. I think that there are people who, they look at that book, they go, oh my God, I don't want any problems. I'm going to use the same formula. Oh my God, I don't want any problems. I'm going to say the same formula. That's because the conversation and the planting of seeds did not happen one or two appointments in advance. Okay. Yes, it's nice that they like the same formula and all that, but dear God in heaven, do you want to eat the same dinner every night? I know. Don't you get bored doing the same formula over and over? Even as a consumer. You know what? Here's what, even though I don't, Annie, even I, I don't tell them, I hardly ever do. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, and I do the same bass, but I play with the, okay, secure the bass, <laughs> play with the hair lengths. Secure the bass, play with the, even if it's the subtlest, I don't care if you mix powder lightener, lovely lights with two volume developer, give her six highlight and she'll say, oh, doesn't, or nothing. Look at the, oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Yep, it's, uh, it's you know what, the smart, or women who never, ever, ever, they're, you know, if the eyebrow is one third of the way we view the face, you can't color the hair and not cover the eyebrows. Even if a woman go ops for silver hair, if you look at any male, if you looked at, at uh, um, Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears Prada with that gorgeous friend with silver wig on, the eyebrows were not gray. If you look at Harrison Ford, the eyebrows are not gray. Right. If you looked at, um, oh God, 007, what was his name? Uh, Sean Connery. No, Sean Connery, the eyebrows were not gray. Yeah, if you look at, Andy McDowell on the cover of New Beauty, the eyebrows are not gray. The eyebrow, even if they're going silver, has to be not gray unless they want to look old. And so if somebody wants to look old, that's sad, but fine. Um, <laughs> I think that we want to bring attention to the eyes. We want to bring attention to the expression of the face. And the eye, so that's why those highlights to the outer corner of the eyebrow, to the widow's peak, in little tiny, tiny strands around the face. She can be brunette, red, blonde, but those little tiny strands lift. We Most women and gentlemen would like to be lifted here. And, and, and just uh, influencing that lift with highlights around the face, that, that corner from the corner of the eye up, lifts the face it's wonderful it's hair color as a cosmetic now if no one in their in your salon colors their hair if you don't color your hair if nobody ever brings up and you can say when you're doing oh i love it with what we're placing around your face it's contagious the other one what are they doing what are they doing what are they doing all right we have our first question hi hi uh, it's from Beverly. She wants to know, would you color the client's eyebrows? Uh, do I color the client's out, so eyebrows? Absolutely. And I know I'm not supposed to, but I do anyway. I cover the eye with a cotton pad and with, with cotton that's moistened. I do not leave the client. They're back at the sink. I cover the eyebrows with a Demi No Lift color. Demi Plus Beauty Fusion, right? Um, I use a color a bit lighter and warmer than I wish the result. Never use black in the name of God in heaven. As soon as I put the color on the brows, I take a Q-tip and I go around the edges to make sure I'm only covering the brows. Those brows cover in 12 minutes. Keep the eyes covered. Now, I did not ever, nor would I ever cover the lashes. Oh, my God, you kill. No, eyebrows. In New York, there was a law that we weren't allowed to color eyebrows. So I'm going to tell you what happened. I used to go to this Michelle when I was a kid. <clears throat> this salon from Boston called Michelle Kazan. Honey, it's an old salon when even the hairdressers are using a walker. Okay, <laughs> here's what happened. So they have all these rich ladies lined up. The ladies would take their finger, gook it in their head, and put it in their eyebrows. Oh, my God. Really? If you don't cover their eyebrows, they're going to do their <laughs> own eyebrows. You think I'm kidding? I used to see these ladies. And, and my job was to smile and say nothing. Uh, there's also, I know we also sell it. There is actually eyebrow and eyelash tint. It's really good, but it's from Israel, isn't it? Um, You know what? I can't tell you where it's from. I, I don't do the buying. I only do the I, selling. Okay, okay. Part, you but... know what? Annie, put me down for one black eyelash for myself. <laughs> and we won't tell anybody. Just send it to me. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, my, my esthetician used to do, and she'd say, only use black on those eyelashes. 
Oh know? my, but don't use black on the brows. Use the, the, the darkest you should use is a medium, medium ash brown will go almost black. Well, I swear to you, not 10 minutes before we started Zoom, one of my customers called us were out of the blue black and she was having a fit. <laughs> yeah, because once a, once a lady with the dark blue black doesn't have it, they flip. Yeah, really. So order the black and, and then she should tell the client she's using the blue black. Isn't that a terrible thing for me to say? <laughs> I love it. I love it. My goodness. Thank you, Beverly. <laughs> that was a great question. Yeah. So, uh, you so know, I think, I went... and I, and I want to say this. Sometimes yeah. if, if a client comes in, why am I going to color hair when two inches of it is going to be on the floor? Yeah. The haircut has to happen first. And when their hair is beat to hell and back, that hair has to be cut and reshaped first. Yeah. Do not allow your salon to be managed by the book. The book is a guideline. If a lady needs something, it is not good to, hey, I need surgery. My appendix need out. Oh, sorry, we don't have any time to do your appendix today, but we can give <laughs> you a, a bikini wax. Come back in two weeks. No, no, no. If you don't do it today, you'll probably never see the client again. If the client needs eyebrows, if the client needs some, highlights can go on while the retouch is going. Bleach goes right through hair color. It's like a baseball bat through a screen door, for God's sake. Uh, and in my classes, we do this and people are always, Annie, you were with me in Sarasota. People are always mm -hmm. so amazed. I know. It really, it really, really works. Well, especially with lovely light because it processes in like 30, 35 minutes, which I know you love. You know, I love it. And, and I'm now into the new no am because the no am is no ammonia, but it's MEA. And that stuff is, I would never give no am to a beginner because no am is great off scalp. And it goes, if somebody's been dyed black, dark brown, burgundy, and you need to bring them up, up. <laughs> boy. And I, I, in fact, the salon I'm working in now is an amazing uh, Balmain salon called uh, James Foot, F O J T. He's Czechoslovakian. The salon is very chic, Balmain French, but uh, they understand what No Am can do uh, mm -hmm. because of the strength. Um, and, you know, you use that when you need to. I sent a picture about a month ago of a woman who came to me who's been dyed level zero black, one black forever. She's growing out silver. She wants to, and by the way, with her skin tone, and she can be silver beautifully. And she said she went to a salon that bought, you cannot, guys, no matter what brand you use, you cannot remove and make a person who has black dyed hair blonde by painting their hair. You need the pressure that you exert against a foil or a mesh and the hair and the product in order to push that lightener in. I. I used 911 uh, Beauty Fusion as a liquid demi on her scalp, five volume, just to make it nice and silvery. 911, as you know, Annie, is our Beauty Fusion double blue ash. It just makes that silver silvery. I applied that to her salt and pepper two inch gray root. And I, and I face framed her. I'm sorry, ignore that. And I face framed her with, no am and 20 volume developer believe it or not it came up and lightened that 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 orangey golden hair to a pale pale almost white and then i used lola conditioner on her she was as happy as could be and i just saw her the second time last week and i did exactly what i did before and i did one more row of highlights behind mm -hmm. we're on our way we're transitioning her from blackety black to salt and pepper gray, and she'll look terrific. All right, here's a question from Lisa. What is the mixing for Demi Plus with the boosters? Okay, I'm American. Two ounces of Beauty Fusion Color. Two ounces of five volume Oxy Milk Developer. One teaspoon of color booster, and I like to use color booster number one. They're both the same pH. 
Now, here's what I'm telling everybody, Annie, this is caught on. If you go to the hardware store or to, well, there, or to uh, William Sonoma or to Amazon or to Best Buy, buy, go to the household department and go to the milk frother. It's a stick with a little whizzy circle on the bottom. It's battery powered and you can recharge it. My favorite thing is to take my developer and my Beauty Fusion booster, put them in the bowl or the applicator, use the frother to mix them completely up. You'll get a beautiful foamy cream. Now add the Beauty Fusion. Now use the frother again. The mixture will be beautifully mixed, lump free and no stirring and mixing forever. First in the container or bowl, developer. Second, the booster. If you're using Beauty Fusion as a Demi Plus or as a permanent dye, then the Beauty Fusion. We have a class I'm teaching for uh, a, a wonderful salon, a dear friend who's used uh, Artego for years and they're concerned about using Beauty Fusion. Once I spend one hour with you on how to mix Beauty Fusion, you're gonna love it. Until people, people don't understand because it is a, if you use it as a demi a, acidic like Shades EQ, just the color and, and five volume equal parts. If you use it as a demi plus, two ounces of color, two ounces of five volume developer, and one teaspoon of booster. If you use it as a permanent dye, excepting of course high lift, two ounces of color, two ounces of 20 volume, and two teaspoons of booster. But remember, first pour in the developer, then pour in the booster, then mix it up till creamy, then add the color, then mix it up till creamy, and you've got a fabulous, gorgeous, delicious, formula to apply to the hair. All right, here is a question from Robert. I'm not sure I'm quite understanding it, but you're better at color than me. All right, quick formulation question. When converting formulas to beauty fusion, advice could you add to formulate, for example, a 5.13 primary and secondary tones? Primary and secondary. One would be ash, three would be gold. So it's going to be prime. It's going to be two parts ash, one part gold. So if I were using uh, a level five, I'd use an ounce. I'd use one ounce of uh, five one, <clears throat> and a half ounce of five three. Oh, that's what he's asking. Got get it? Okay. When we talk about primary, if we talk about a uh, three, four. It's two parts of gold, one part of copper. If we talk about a four, three, it's two parts copper, one part gold. Gotcha. I hope that helps, Robert. I hope that's what you were asking, Robert, if I read that correctly. Let's see if he answers us. I, I have a question that came up the other day. Okay, when you're transitioning, especially like a level six around that, and we highlight them to death all summer long, and then she gets to be too blonde, and if you color her all over, she looks like she has a helmet. No, no, but, then they hate your guts, and they say their hair is yeah. black. I would <laughs> low light them with five with six thirty four, uh, um, beauty fusion. Okay. Yep, 634 after and five volume. After wrapping the last coil, let her process 30 minutes at room temperature and wash the hair. Okay, awesome. Oh, pretty. And Robert said, yep, you answered the question. That was it. Can't wait to see, I bet that's Robert <laughs> who I'm seeing in uh, October. Hey, Robert. Yes, yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, no more questions yet. So what else? Okay, I want to talk about something new um, that I'm cr I'm crazy in love with, and I go on and on. So, in Artego, we have something called Rain Dance, 
and they have a Hydra Boost mask. You can get it in a small jar for retail, in a large jar for back bar. I have never used anything as lightweight, as hydrating, mm -hmm. no grease, and an immediate detangler. It's called Hydra Boost. If you use it at the sink and take the lady and say, give me your hand and let her touch her hair, in, in two and a half minutes, there's no grease, there's no flatness, there's, but that hair is detangled and she, you can comb it through. I don't comb hair at the sink, I use my fingers. Then when she's sitting up and I towel dry, I use a wide tooth comb. I have, this is a killer, it's great. It's killer, I love it. You know what, when I go to Florida in the winter, um, I, I eat that stuff. It so does my hair <laughs> because I'm in the pool every day, out at the beach, all those kinds of things. And I have, my hair tends to be very kinky, curly and dry. And that stuff is just fantastic. It yeah. Really and is. you know, and I'll tell you, what, healthy. you know what I do when somebody's in real bad shape? Annie, we have those little white cartons. It's the dream vials. Yes. Okay. Those vials are about a, an, an ounce. I open the vial and while the conditioner's on, I put the pour the vial in my hands. I rub my hands together and I run that through the hair. That's like the most intense treatment I've ever done. Yeah, it's fantastic. And that dream stuff is great. Kayla and I were talking about that is great. So yes. I'm using that a lot and the clients, and I give them, I say, I'm gonna give you a little vial to take home in two weeks if you but but i charge them at the sink right you know yeah it's a treatment um we have wonderful treatments we truly do and um we have so many treatments it it just whatever you i mean whether it's dandruff oiliness dryness scalp issues we have everything what i would love to do with you is create a book that you and i do not from anybody else of every single thing and what it does because, and just for Americans, like here's how we, how we do this because mm -hmm. I think it's so important and so wonderful. And, you know, look, I don't care what color the hair is. If it's not in good condition, it doesn't matter. I don't care what color the hair is. If somebody did a scrambled eggs blowout on themselves in your salon and they walk out looking like crap, then they go, Oh, I just went to Annie for my hair color. They're not even looking at the hair color. The hair looks like like somebody was in a tornado and was slapped around. You you have to when they walk out, they are a walking advertisement for you. So new clients, if they want to blow their own hair, no. You blow the front, you blow the fringe, you blow the sides, you smooth it, and then you give them the dryer if that's how cheesy, you know, when I go to a restaurant, I don't put my purse on the table and bring out my own pie. There has to be respect for the beauty salon. And that is, what does the word in French salon mean? A meeting of like-minded people. Hmm. If somebody wants to be, there are salons who should do budget work and budget and there's, there's a place for those salons. But if you're going to use great quality and you're talented and you care, you can't do budget work or you're going to hurt your soul. You're going to hurt your, your mind. You're going to hurt your body. You're going to hurt your feelings. So, you know, and if you're in a bad area where everybody's poor, don't do hair in that area. Drive 15 or 20 minutes. You can, if you take, if you want to do charity work, do it at your church. Do it one day in a salon where people need a shampoo and a whatever. But your salon cannot be a charity or you're going to go out of business. Okay. That's just me. It's good, though. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather, when I had my own brand of, of color and color, color care, there was a wonderful charity that would, um, my Peter Jennings wife, the newscaster, Casey did a beautiful work with a women's shelter of poor women who've been needing shelter, were going back to work, who've been abused. And I gave cases of our shampoo and conditioner 
so that women could nicely wash and, and condition their hair at the shelter. And I know that was a drop in the bucket and it didn't make me money, but me made me feel good to my soul. And it's good to give back to the communities we live in. Yes, it is. Yes. It really I, is. There's another question. This is, again, hi, Robert, again, color correction question. I added vertical low lights to a blonde, did not pull formula low, low enough to the ends. When dried, the low light looked off. How could I have best resolved this issue? Well, when I'm doing low lights, sometimes the, lo the root area does not need the low light. The mids and ends need it more. Um, sadly, Robert, there's nothing you could dump on that. You might go through and pick up some of those low lights and just tap that formula through mids to ends. Not every low light, but every third or fourth, scatter it through. Yeah, and um, and then after 20 minutes at room temperature rinse, I know I've, we've all done it. You can also do it with the Lola conditioner and those porous ends will take. Uh, I know, I know you, you some on low lights, I bring some all the way to the ends, some three quarters, some two thirds, some all the way to the ends. But yeah, you and or give her a haircut. <laughs> That's great. And Robert says, says thank, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Ah, you can always use those ends for swatching. <laughs> right, right. And you know what? With our your magic, um, when I'm you like when I want to beef up like a Lola with our conditioner, let's say the scarlet, and I want to beef it up, I'll pour the scarlet conditioner bowl and add like two drops of the your magic copper or orange, oh, yeah. excuse me, or red and honey. Woo! That stuff is a color concentrate and it really does work. You know, between your magic, Lola, our other conditioners, using beauty fusion, Fetotech as as a liquid demi or as an, a demi plus, we have it all. We have it all. And really its color do. is wonder. It's color from when if anybody says they don't get good gray coverage, first of all, I when people ask me a question, I said, Will you please tell me the level and tone the hair is now at the root and the percentage of gray? They'll go, Oh, I like that color. What did you use? But they don't say to me, What is the hair now? If the hair is all gray, I'm not going to tell you the same thing as somebody who's all brown, right? Right. right. Then I we look at the hair in in state in uh, in uh, different stages in different you know zone one is the hair close to the scalp that's different than zone two which is the healthy hair that's an inch and a half to four inches away from the scalp zone three is the more porous help mid to ends and zone four oh, is self is self cutting. <laughs> Where did everybody go? <laughs> We're here, but I hear somebody talking. Me too. All right. All right. Well, here's a question. Um, somebody just asked if you can. Goodbye, Ray, Robert. Ray, we, you need to mute. Thank you. All right. Um, asked to said to explain more about Lola if there's time. That, maybe tell them the eight colors and everything. Lola, L O L E, L O L A is a brand of conditioner. It is hair conditioner. Years ago, did any of you use Artec? Years ago, did you use Celeb or Evo? Okay. Think of conditioner that is impregnated with hair color. This is a, it is primarily a conditioner. There's some called blueberry, which is a very sheer pale blue silver. Great to drab or to create silver white or drabbing action on blonde or brunette hair. We have another lovely shade called almond, which creates a creamy, almost white beige almond. We have a sun, which creates a sheer soft yellow. I didn't say gold, yellow. We have a, a coral, which is a soft, beautiful copper. A scarlet, which is red, red, red. 
a chocolate, which is brown. All of these are intermixable. So if I want to create a cool, rich, pale, icy blonde with a little cream in it, I can intermix blueberry and almond. Mm -hmm. If I want to create a copper shade that is more golden copper, more than a, like a strawberry blonde, I can mix two parts of sun with one part of copper, right? If I want to create a red that I'm scared straight scarlet would be too red, I can mix scarlet and, co and uh, coral, right? And we have a caramel shade, which is gorgeous. If I want to mix car make a caramel shade and I'm scared that it might not be brown enough, I can mix it with chocolate or I can mix it with gold to lighten it. We mix these two, or we use them straight. We mix them in a bowl. We show the client the beautiful frappe in the bowl. We apply it, it does not cover gray. We apply it to the faded hair shaft, five to 10 minutes at the sink. We rinse, we show her the bottle. It's up to her to buy it or not. And the results, first of all, the combability, the shine, the condition, and the strength are wonderful. And we have adjusted the tone at the sink. Wonderful product. And so incredibly well-priced. To try it, you can buy like five or six packets in a rubber band to try in little foil packets. They're one, and they're not tiny. But if I were you, I'd get one of each shade and then you contact Aunt Beth and I'll tell you how to mix them if you need to. <laughs> you all have my phone number. You all know have my web. You know, Annie, I'm trying to re-register um, people on my website, which is $2.08 a month. And it's my www bot, Beth Minardi All Access. And this year they get a free additional benefit. They get a free color hotline with me. Oh, nice. So for $2.08, I don't care what you use. I don't care if you're doing this two years, two days, or 200 years. I will help you. That's awesome. I'm very excited about it. And I'm very excited about our class in Annapolis. I was just going to say, let's plug our class. <laughs> well, you know what? If I live in D.C., I'm not, people go, hi. Oh, you're coming to Annapolis. When can you do D.C.? I'm not. You're need Look. I have to get on on a plane. If you live in Washington, D.C., if you live in Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, or Southern New Jersey, come on, come on to class. You, the Hilton Doubletree is giving great uh, reduced uh, ticket uh, room rates. Yep. We're going to be there after the class. We're going to go to the bar and have a glass of wine. Lunch is included. Diplomas are included. Free gifts. And it's $2.99 for the whole day. If you register as a group, a couple of people, you get a discount. So it's one ninety nine for the whole day. Oh, sorry, one ninety. Yeah. Oh, and three or more are one fifty. Okay, so the whole day is only. I thought it was two nine. One ninety nine yeah. for the whole day, and you get me all day being a pain in your ass. I get <laughs> you may have. We'll have fun. We're gonna. You're gonna do hair, honey. You're gonna get involved. Take notes. I'm gonna take you into the science, the chemistry, the technology the conversations in color, what to say to the client, how to greet the client, new science, pH, new chemistry, gifts, lunch, and diploma, frameable diploma for $199. And if you need to drive or stay at the hotel, a great rate at the Doubletree uh, Hilton in Annapolis, Maryland. And all you have to do, the phone number to call, and Annie will have this up, is 800 247 1600 and Annie and Nicholas and uh Kaylin are going to post this on 1660 my... I think is it 16 247 1660 1660 yeah. okay. okay they're going to post this the click how to click to register on yep. my uh Beth Minardi Facebook group they're going to put it on the uh Artego group and they're going to put it on the Artego USA Facebook and for goodness sakes we have a few seats left. Please join us, please. Yeah, I'm not coming back there for a long time. So don't think, yeah. oh, I'm in I'm in uh, Annapolis. Beth's gonna come to, uh, I'm not coming to West Virginia this year. I was in Pittsburgh. A week after I was in Pittsburgh, people said, when are you coming to Pittsburgh? Yep. 
I had one say when you're coming to New York, I said, we're not, we're going to Annapolis, join us. You know, I have, <laughs> you know what though, Annie, I have 62 people who want me to come to Manhattan. <laughs> I can't believe it. So we just need to find a location and do we yeah. need tools? Um, Robert, I'll send you a whole thing of what you need. I sent that the other day to, to uh, Brenda, but you're going to need, we have a wonderful person going to style I, I, I'll i send you exactly what you need, but we're sending you all the stuff, baby. That comes from the Beechers. Yes. And we look forward to having everybody join us. We do. And I want you to think about, okay, it is now almost September. Get them in the chair. Start talking to them now about their dreams for how they want to look Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is thinking about bursting into the new year, thinking about a new you, a new life, maybe a little longer, maybe a little angle, maybe a fringe, maybe a few highlights, cover the gray in those eyebrows, select being a beautiful silver or select being a beautiful blonde brunette or redhead. I've had people come to me and say, I've said, why are you with me? They said, I've been going to the same salon for a long time. I said, why are you with me? And they say, you know what? I think I needed something new my salon never mentioned it, so I thought they weren't interested. You've got to plant the seed. Very good. Yeah. Annie, thank you. I got to go now, babe. All right. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I hope everybody... Did you have fun, Annie? I always do with you. I always have fun when I'm with you. <laughs> okay. We have fun. And by the way, thanks to Kaylin and everybody. Yeah. Remember me. All you got to do, if you want to email me, it's BethMinardi at Gmail. You know to go to my website. You know to go to my email. And for goodness sake, ArtegoUSA.com. We're here to help you. Right, Annie? Always. Okay. Big love, everybody. Take care, everybody. Bye.